Alright, so the first question, why do you think even if it's not inspired in true events as this one is, why do audiences and we go for the underdog story? It doesn't matter if it's Rocky or if it's Eddie the Eagle, I think there's some something that people connect to it. Why do you think that is? I, I think every day of our lives we face obstacles. Mm. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're the CEO, if you're Brad Pitt, whatever. There are obstacles. And I think we watch stories so that we can collectively watch people overcome those obstacles. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, just yeah. the Absolutely. obstacles this guy overcame are so massive. So great. And you can go, oh, he came last in everything he went in. But when you see this story, it, it is like the greatest triumph of all time when you see what he came through. I think that's it, pretty much. Yeah. Do you agree with that in terms of gives perspective? Because you were talking about going on additions and the securities, but then when you go, when you, when you see something like what he went through, do you think that sort of grounds everybody to see that maybe somebody has a more difficult journey that we deal with, and that's part of the gratification? Yeah, totally. I think, you know, sort of echoing what Hugh said, really, it's, you know, every, every movie you've ever seen, you know, is about someone over, in some shape or form, someone overcoming an, an obstacle, and there is no greater model for that than, than, the, than the underdog yeah. story, you know? And, and Eddie kind of is the definitive underdog, really. Underdog to the point where you know he's never gonna come first, but it, it sort of doesn't matter. That's the great message of the, of the movie, really. And I think the great trick is the wrong word, but the great kind of, the great success of the movie, what Dexter's managed to do is that at the end, even though he places last, it's mm. just this, you know, momentous kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, spoilers, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happened in real life. So yeah, people can yeah, cool yeah, what happened. Yeah. But given that, that you were mentioning how he's a different person now and it's based on, on his life, what did it serve to actually to sit down and meet with him? I know you probably could have just uh, watched tapes and done that and stick to the script, but meeting him... Because I think what it, because his passion hasn't diminished at mm. all. He still ski jumps, he still loves it. It's still the, uh, it's still the love of his life, I think, you know? So although... He looks very different, and obviously I'm playing him 26, seven, seven years ago. Mm. Um, it was great, because you know, the, the, the key to the character, I think, is his enthusiasm, his unwavering enthusiasm, and, and you absolutely get that from meeting Eddie. Okay, so given that your character, I know your character is fictional, but I was wondering if that if that's sort of uh, liberating in a way, or do you feel the, the pressure, because you are sort of carrying the thematic aspect of what's going on with the story, so I wonder how oh, you sort of dealt with that. The pressure on Taron is far greater in terms of mm -hmm. of people judging you, I suppose, because you know there's a real person who everyone knew, and they can Google, and there's lots on. And Taron did an amazing job, I think, of not just sort of imitating, but getting the pure essence of that character. That's always, I think, for an actor, the more daunting thing. Yeah. Um, but but really, actually, there's a responsibility with every role as an actor, and for us, it was about I think really connecting. Mm. You know, finally these two connect and bring out the best in each other. And working with Taron was just an absolute joy. We had so much fun. So let's uh, talk. Let's talk about that because I follow you both on Twitter. And I know you've got to sort of a mutual admiration society going on. Yeah. So what's the what's his best quality as a scene partner? Would you say? I, I think Taron is one of the best actors I've ever worked with. Mm. I mean, I think it's astonishing. Can I get that on a tape? Yeah. On tape. Oh, we are. Tape. We are taping. Yeah, we, are. <laughs> we are. No, he he, he makes it now. ridiculously sort of effortless. I can't tell you, maybe five times in the whole movie did the director ask for a second take. Most of the time, never asking for a take, second take from Taron. It was just completely in that character from, from the beginning at the same time playing tennis. I mean, acting is a dance, yeah, it's, totally. it's sport and I just felt we had such a connection that whether we had lived, whether we not, we went left, whether we went right, we sort of instinctively went together and that makes acting so much fun and joyful. When it's not like that, it becomes it's your turn and it's my turn. This is your close up, my close up. And it becomes theoretical in a way and technical. Mm. When it's not like that, it becomes transcendent. That's how uh, I felt. So but when did the dynamic go, sort of shift for you from wanting to impress him to sort of want him to break up and get him to laugh on? I, I, I still want to impress <laughs> him, I think, you know, I, I mean. Well, you did. Um, I, it was, it, very, I mean, I, st I say I still want to impress him, but that that thing you're talking about, yeah. about it stop being being Hugh Jackman and being Hugh was yeah. so quick because that's the effect he has on everyone. Y you know, it was it was really, really, really quick. Mm. We just, you know, there was we just made each other laugh. It was mm. fun. We 
we, we became mates really quickly, and and that's that's the kind of magic. And you can't you can't you can't force that, you know. Mm. I, I I hope and I believe it comes across on on the screen, but I we just have mm. loads of fun, mm. and he's someone I really 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 enjoy spending time with, and yeah, it was great. It was great. So talk to me. Uh, one of the things I think about your character, sort of that brash, uh, it's got. A, I thought of John Wayne with sort of a brash honesty, sort of a, he sort of lays it down. Do you have somebody in your life that sort of lays, <coughs> lays it down for you the same way he does for Eddie in sort of the situation? Yeah, you got kids, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's like having kids. <laughs> like uh, that was a really bad movie. What were you thinking? <laughs> you spent four months on that kind of. No, you always really get it. Been a review at your house. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you get it straight from kids all the time. Mm. For this movie, I actually kind of uh, based it on Ginger Baker, the drummer. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've seen that documentary. Someone put me onto it. Beware, Ginger Baker it is. No. Yeah. So you'll see a fair bit of Bronson Peary in that. So does it make a, a, a difference? You work, work with a lot of directors. You work with Mafi Bon and, and the director of a legend. Yeah. Does it make a difference when you have somebody who used to be an actor and he's acted his whole life? Yes. And, and yes. So, so how is it different having him? Uh, uh, yeah, well, with someone like Dexter, who was such a good actor and is also very clever i think he under he understands what makes good acting work he you know when for someone like me when it, when you come across when you come up to an obstacle or there's something that you can't quite figure out he just comes and uh, unlocks the door and it's it's great and he also you know something Hugh was talking about earlier on is that he really understands the environment to create to get the best out of actors mm -hmm. you know to build an atmosphere that's fun and positive um because it's conducive to, 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 good, to good work. It's sometimes easy to... Some actors don't work hard enough, some work too hard. It's mm. a really fine balance, the same thing with sport. And having the kind of coach or director, which is the same thing, that can bring out the best in everyone on the set at the same time, is it, it, it really helps to have an actor, to understand that actors always want to do their best. They want to please, they want to make people, they want to entertain. And that can sometimes get in the way of just being. And, and Dexter just created this great atmosphere, I think, that just relaxed everybody, yeah. All right, pleasure talking to you guys. Hey, See thank you. Later, you. Man. Okay.